Hey everybody, welcome to reading the Bible to cats. <laughs> and his expression is really funny. He was obviously snuggled into that poof that he's on, and then I put the fish over there. A new fish toy. Um, I don't know if you can hear my TV, but I lost the remote, and now I can't. Somehow it turned on. Don't ask me how. <laughs> But I don't have the remote to turn it off. Anyway, it's on a Spanish-speaking channel, like a cooking show. So if you hear that in the background, apologies. Um, I wish I could speak Spanish. I may have told you that was my first language um, because we lived in Mexico City from the ages of one to five. And I, apparently I only spoke Spanish, and my first word was agua. Um, you know, water, I guess I need, I guess I was thirsty, but what I wanted to say is I've completely forgotten all my Spanish. I mean, I know I've talked about that before. Anyway, let's read a Psalm. It's July 17th, 2024. can't believe how fast the month is going. So I'm looking for Psalm. 17. Um, okay. Psalm 17. Okay. Let's see. Sorry for the delay. Okay, Psalm 17. Hear me, Lord. My plea is just, listen to my cry, hear my prayer. It does not rise from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from you. Sorry, everybody. I want Henry to be in the picture. Oh, well, okay, we've lost Henry. He's snuggling his nose in the in the poof. Okay, let me take two. Let's take that psalm again. Hear me, Lord. My plea is just. Listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. It does not rise from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. Though you probe my heart, though you examine me at night and test me, you will find that I have planned no evil. My mouth has not transgressed. Though people tried to bribe me, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent. Through what your lips have commanded, my steps have held to your paths, my feet have not stumbled. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love. You who saved by your right hand those who took refuge who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are out to destroy me, from my mortal enemies who surround me. They close up their callous hearts and their mouths speak with arrogance. They have tracked me down. They now surround me with eyes alert to throw me to the ground. They are like a lion hungry for prey like a fierce lion crouching in cover. Rise up, Lord. Confront them. Bring them down. With your sword, rescue me from the wicked. By your hand, save me from such people, Lord, from those of this world whose reward is in this life. May what you have stored up for the wicked fill their bellies. May their children gorge themselves on it, and may there be leftovers for their little ones. 
As for me, I will be vindicated and will see your face. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. Hey everybody, that's the end of Psalm 17. It's, um, it's, yeah. I mean, King David, you know, he, he didn't mince words. <laughs> Although he was poetic and prophetic, he, um, you know, he, he told it like it was, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I like verse 7. Show me the wonders of your great love. I just like that. I mean, that, that that's like a really wonderful prayer. You know, show me the wonders of your great love. And then I, I like verse 8 too. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. And then, you know, he talks about how the wicked are out to get him and um, their hearts are callous and arrogant and they surround him. And then verse 12, which I know Guster and Henry will approve of this verse. They are like a lion hungry for prey, like a fierce lion crouching in cover. Yeah, you know, throughout the scripture, I mean, I laugh about it, you know lions and kitties but you know throughout the scriptures that image the imagery of a, of of uh, a lion is is often employed you know either for um yeah there's a lot of lion imagery because they're fierce um and then of course we've got the lion of the tribe of judah I guess it's the, you know, they're, I guess they're, you know, fierce. Right, Henry? Henry. Henry, you're fierce with bug. See how he, he turned his ears when I said bug? Like if I say any other word, he's not going to, he's not going to turn his ears. Like I'll say, um, chicken. Um, would you like a steak? Well, he kind of turned to that. Would you like steak? Would you like to to crouch and be fierce and attack your prey like bug? <laughs> Sorry, he's he's not. He's not going to turn. Anyway, um. Hmm. Yeah, so King David is crying out for justice. Verse 13, rise up, Lord, confront them, bring them down with your sword, rescue me from the wicked. And, and then verse 14 is interesting, the end of it. By your hand, save me from such people, Lord, from those of this, wor of this world whose reward is in this life. Yeah. I mean, that... I like that because it's just a reminder that, you know, our reward isn't in this life. It's a very short life, but extremely meaningful. But it's not, you know, our reward is, doesn't, isn't here. And then I like... Um, the last, the final verse, verse 15, as for me, I will be vindicated and will see your face. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. I don't know that kind of, I guess that, that speaks to me of, you know, when he, um, maybe when he dies, you know, and then he, he awakens from that sleep, that death, and, and he sees, you know, the, the likeness of, of, of the Lord, of his creator. And that's, that's his reward. You know, God himself. Well, those are my comments. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting. 
Hmm. Trying to see if there's anything interesting. Yeah, I think that was good. So yeah, I wish I, I always wish we could see somebody's face. Um. Hello. 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 Hello? Anybody? Anybody there? No. Okay. <laughs> Henry, I know you're listening. I know you're listening, Henry. Don't you want to get Bug? Where's Bug? Where's Bug? Don't you want Bug? No. Not falling for it. How about fish? You want fish? No. Okay, never mind, everybody. Let's say a prayer. Lord, um, I thank you that we can come to you and, and just bold, boldly come before your holy throne of grace and that we can, you know, just you know, speak what's on our hearts and minds. Like King David. I really like, you know, when King David says, show me the wonders of your great love and keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. And, and I pray that, Lord, I pray that you would show me the wonders of your great love and keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me in the shadow of your wings. And I pray that for my friends and my YouTube friends, that you would show them the wonders of your great love and keep them as the apple of your eye and hide them in the shadow of your wings and rise up for them when they need justice and protection, Lord. And, and that's my pray prayer. As King David was bold to pray all those things, so I, I will pray them as well. Lord, um, also pray for the peace of the USA. <laughs> that that things would change here in terms of the divisiveness uh, and um, vitriol that, you know, that happens, especially during an election year. So we pray just for love and peace, the significant fruit of your spirit. <laughs> we pray for that, Lord, and I pray Again, for the peace of Israel, for the peace of Jerusalem, for the hostages, Lord. Please draw near to them wherever they are. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. I really... I'm going to turn your poof, Henry. I'm going to turn it around so people can see you. Let's just turn you. Let's just turn you a little bit like that. Oh, I should have done that. I should have done that. Oh, no, he's still turning away. Just a little. Just We just want to see your face. I know you're tired of the paparazzi. Oh, well. He's just zonked. Okay, everybody. Well, at least you can see the fish. All right. Bye.